what is going on guys and girls in today's video i'll be going over some of the best seo specific gpts that you can use to optimize your content and rank higher i'll also be sharing two of the custom gpts that i've been working on for seo and bloggers so stick around until the end of the video for those gpts the first gpt that i want to take a look at is seo link building by julian goldie i'm sure most of you already know of him he's a very popular blogger and youtuber in the seo space so this GPT allows you to automate SEO link building with ChatGPT and AI. So for example, we can have ChatGPT create my PR pitch for us. So most likely you would have to cater this pitch for what, a, um, what exactly specific PR you're going after, but this will allow you to be able to follow a, a, a specific template to be able to get a very high quality and high converting PR pitch. So once you ask it to create a PR pitch for you, it will ask you for specific information that will need for it to write that full pitch for you. So once you fill in that information, then it will write the full pitch for you. Some other things that you can do for this GPT is you can ask it to write an SEO link building outreach email funnel. You can ask it to give you your best link building automation tool, find some podcasts that you can get featured on and things of that nature. So essentially this is going to allow you to be able to find backlinking and link building opportunities for your specific niche. It is connected to Bing. So that means you can actually go out and it can actually read the live web and give you up-to-date information and places in which you can get in contact with if you would like to start SEO link building. So this is really cool and it's actually a very good example of using SEO to your advantage in these GPTs. So as you can see, Julian Goldie, what he did was he included a link for his website and he's also included a link for a document in which he created. So this is going to help increase the authority of um, Julian Goldie because again, this is going to be popping up on ChatGPT. And this is going to increase his authority, his website's authority, and help him drive more traffic over to his website from this GPT. So that is a really, really good idea that you can build as well. If you are a content marketer, if you are an SEO, if you're an agency, you can build a GPT within um, ChatGPT, and that will allow you to get more traffic and drive the authority up of your specific website. So that's just a little tip on how you can use GPTs for SEO. I'll create a full video on that in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other SEO specific tools. Here we have another SEO specific GPT that helps you evaluate your web content helpfulness, relevancy, and quality for your targeted query based on Google's guidelines versus the one of your competitors. Essentially, it will analyze your content and give you SEO metrics that you can follow to improve that content. Once you enter the URL, then you need to enter the keyword in which you're trying to go after. So it's going to be able to analyze that website based upon that specific keyword. And then you can also enter some URL of competitors that you would like to compare your content with. So once you found some competitors, just paste that into um, ChatGPT. And then as you can see, it will be able to um, analyze that specific web page that you have with the um, web pages from your competitors. So once you follow the prompts, then as you can see, the AI will go ahead and analyze your content based upon EEAT or useful metrics from Google in comparison to your competitors. So this is going to be a very, very useful tool for you if you want to just do some competitive analysis. Another SEO specific GPT is the SEO Content Master, which allows you to craft SEO optimized articles using real-time data insights, expert in SEO content creation, delivering unique, engaging articles. So we can ask it to write an article about anything that we have in mind, and it should be able to write an SEO optimized article about that specific topic. So um, we can write an SEO optimized article about the advancements in renewable energy. Now let's go ahead and see how well this GPT works. Here is the full article that we got back from this SEO GPT. And it's not very long in my opinion, and I don't think it's that great. I think you get much better results by using, um, using the assistant mode or using the playground mode in OpenAI rather than writing the content on the chat GPT web app. If you want to see some tutorials on how I write SEO optimized content, then I'll leave those tutorials in the description below. But this would be a good GPT to use if you don't have much experience using ChatGPT, if you don't have much experience using prompting and things of that nature, then you can use an SEO tool like this to help you write um, some content a little bit faster. And then you can always tell the AI to expand on that content. So those are some of the GPTs that I came across. Now I want to show you guys the GPTs that I have been working on personally. This is a one-click SEO optimized blog post writer. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is enter the topic in which you would like to write about, which is you can tell it to write an article on how to become a better CEO. And as you can see here, it will write you that full article. 
I'm still working on improving this GPT and making the outputs a lot better. But if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link for this GPT in the description below. The second GPT in which I'm working on is a blog post content humanizer. So this will allow you to transform your blog post content that was written by AI into a more humanized style so that you can um, get a much better AI detection score if you're using a tool like originality.ai or undetectable.ai. So it's very easy to use. All you have to do is copy over the content from your website like this. And then we can paste that into the blog post content humanizer. And as you can see, it will be able to rewrite that content for us. I'm still working on making it consistent, but most of the times when I've checked the content, so for example, this is the content in which I just tested on originality.ai, it is 100% original and 0% AI. So if you want to transform your content to be more human and pass AI detectors, then you can use this blog post content humanizer to help rewrite your content. So again, I'll leave a link for both of these mentioned GPTs in the description below. If there's a GPT that you've been using that I haven't mentioned in today's video, let me know and I'll be sure to do a review on it. And if you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.